everybody. Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Before we get started, as always, please check us out at www.theshavingcadre.com. Also, if you'd please subscribe by hitting the barber pole with the cowboy hat, that'll certainly help us. Uh, tell your friends, and then also down here in the description section, please uh, ring that bell. That'll get you notified of any new uh, videos that come out. Usually we do three a week on Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, and uh, we'd really appreciate it. Also, I'll be listing a link of cha uh, links of channels, uh, YouTube channels, down in the description area as well. Please check them out. Some are shaving, some are non-shaving, but I think that you'll enjoy them. And uh, today's uh, shave is going to be brought to you by the Terrestrial Nurse Dave's Micro Shaving Device. So it's very good for scooping out soaps. In fact, I did that today. Now, that isn't opposed to the galactic version, which is used on all TSC manned space flights. So please check that out. Uh, we'll be right back. everybody. Uh, this is what we're shaving with today. I'm going to be doing a camisori shave. Now it is with a removable blade camisori, but I'm going to be using the Feather uh, DX camisori. It's got a Feather ProGuard blade in it. Uh, for the brush today, I will be using the Sorrentino what I call the Pillars of Creation because the depth of this kind of looks like that Hubble Space Telescope uh, Pillars of Creation uh, photo that they took that I guess has been updated by the Webb Telescope. Uh, and for the soap today, beautiful presentation. Uh, this is the Holy Black Bamboo in this wonderful bamboo steamer. And some of you that have been following me know that I made the stupid mistake of trying to lather off the puck. <laughs> it doesn't work too well when it's a steamer. So this is one of the few soaps that I actually bowl lather in my Captain's Choice. So, and it bowl lathers wonderfully. And then of course, for the aftershave, we'll be using the Holy Black Bamboo. And it is a wonderful, wonderful scent. So I hope everybody's doing good for a Sunday. I know that, that uh, for some of you, the rain, um, especially if, in California, you guys are getting sick of it, and I know that the snow, those of you in Colorado that are getting the benefits of the snow are really, really happy. We have been kind of hit and miss. I mean, the last two days up until yesterday uh, were close to the, well, in fact, we had one day where we hit 80 degrees and sunny, and then yesterday, I think that we were um, 75, uh, and then today, it is rainy, cold, and 50 degrees, so... We're getting the uh, the storm dip down from California, and we're supposed to get rain uh, today, tomorrow, and uh, Tuesday. This soap has got a, uh, and I've reviewed this before, but it's got just a wonderful lather, definitely oriental all the way across uh, the board. A uh, little bit of cherry blossom, bamboo, uh, just a wonderful soap, and it bowl lathers real well, and I'm not a expert bowl latherer but it does uh, it does pretty good now this camisori that i'm using is a removable blade camisori or i guess by by american standards it's a chevette well i don't consider those chevettes especially the feathers and stuff like that and the fact that it's japanese and, and everything else but uh, it's got a great blade on it. Now, a lot of people will say, how do you hold this? Especially because most of you know that I lock my fingers into the blade so I don't have to move my wrist. And what I do is I take my three fingers, use the thumb notch, and then I take this finger and put it underneath. So I've got opposing pressure. So I've got three fingers down, one underneath, and it works wonderfully. Now, this is asymmetrical, so I can use it uh, both ways. I am hoping... I mean, asymmetrical, not asymmetrical. I will, I'm hoping that I'm going to be getting... A left-handed uh, asymmetrical blade, or camisori, here in the next uh, week or two. Um, and then I will shave just with my left hand, which will be interesting because what I'll do is I'll basically, since the blade is going to be left-handed, I'll shave this way, then I'll switch over and shave this way. Now, uh, that's not going to be an issue for me because I switch hands when I shave anyways. And that's where a lot of people get in trouble with camisories.
is that they, especially on an asymmetrical blade, they get uh, confused because of not having a dominant hand to be using. Where when I was learning how to straight shave from, uh, quite honestly, watching the Chemin's videos, he is a cross-handed straight razor shaver, and I just adopted that technique after much trial and error, of course. I've got a couple other camisories that are symmetrical grind, or western grind, as they say. So this will be the first asymmetrical grind blade that I own. I've shaved with them, and they're, uh, they're interesting. A lot smaller and a lot more lightweight than even these. beautiful first pass and I always obviously make way more soap than is necessary this was an almond size dollop um, in the bowl and I could have probably gotten away with a pea size dollop because there is I mean this well I've already done the first pass and that's how much soap is left over and I'm overloading this so and I'm sure those of you guys that are Bowl lathers, uh, bowl latherers by habit probably know this uh, that you don't need a whole lot, especially if you've got a good soap. This is probably one of the best bowl lathers I've done. usually the problem I have with bowl lathering is I don't get the water correct and either it's too thin or and I, for some reason I feel like I can get the water ratios better with face lathering but if I keep if I can bowl lather like this all the time it's nice because you don't have to work it on your face you can just go Then when I'm doing the upward strokes, basically I just take my two fingers and I rest or lock the edge of the camisori in my palm and then just take my hands over it and it doesn't move and it allows me again to lock my wrist. But you'll see when I do my cleanup that I can use almost the same grip break the wrist a little bit and allow uh, some windshield wiper strokes. But in this case, I'm just keeping my, you know, like I said, along that long plane, keeping that solid. So one last thing, if you are a member of the cadre, please make sure that you uh, check out the general shaving section for the gold dollar modification contest. And if you haven't bid, these are gold dollar razors, for those of you that know straight razors. These are gold dollar razors that have been modified. And we had three contestants. And um, the auction goes through uh, midnight tonight. So please do that because part of the part of the proceeds will go to the TSC. Uh, but more importantly, the other proceeds will go to charities that the uh, the makers of the razor or the modifiers of the razor, I should say, will get to choose. So, and right now, uh, in the auction, 
the prices are dirt cheap. So you can get a really nice custom razor. And I think the high bid on one of the razors is only $75. So you do need to be a member in good standing of the TSC, but it's going towards a good cause. And, you know, we want to keep having that contest each and every year. So the more interest we get in it. And even if you're not a straight razor shaver, it helps out the TSC. It helps out um, those guys that busted their butts to, to do these razors. And uh, it's for a good, uh, a good cause because there'll be a charity that the, some of the proceeds will be going to. So And speaking of contests, uh, those of you folks that have won the various contests, both here and on the TSC, I do apologize. Um, it's been tough getting to the uh, post office. And with the post office being closed tomorrow, I had said that I was going to get everything out by Tuesday. And that includes the, uh, <clears throat> the shaving soap samples for my new scent for the barbershop. I'm going to do my best to get this out Tuesday. It may be next week. Um, So I do apologize. And again, with this uh, cross the face stroke, again, uh, the three fingers locked into the thumb notch and then this one underneath. And I think the key to both, whether it be straight razors, DE razors, or otherwise, is have a light touch on the razor. But if you're locked in, you don't have to put, I mean, I'm not squeezing down on the razor. I actually just realized that I didn't do my fool's pass on the second pass like I normally do. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter when you do the fool's pass. I just find it's a little bit smoother when I do it as far as my second pass is concerned. Which doesn't make sense when you think about it, because you'd think that by doing it on my third pass, it's the least amount of whiskers. But for some reason, I end up getting sometimes, like just now, I end up getting a little weeper. Okay. Oh, definitely nice shave. A little bit of cleanup, and this is what I'll show you um, as far as having the the flexibility with the Kamasori. Um, so for my first uh, my first pass, obviously I stay locked in. When I'm doing my buffing, but then I'll put, like I said, I'll lock it in here, but I'll loosen it. So I can just use, and that's the one time that I'll break that rule about breaking my wrist to be able to do that uh, uh, that move and then for the um, for the uh, flat blading I'll take it and actually instead of holding it underneath I'll hold it flat across and then come down and that allows me to break my wrist when I put the flat part of the blade and rotate rotate through 
So it's very similar to what I do with uh, my regular straight. But again, it's the only time that I will use my wrist rather than the uh, shoulder as a fulcrum. Oh, beautiful shave. That bamboo is just wonderful. Wow. As are all of the holy black um, scents and soaps. They're just, you know, uh, I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't like their distribution method. Um, that they, they make drops and people buy a ton of them and then they resell them. You know, that's, for lack of a better term, that's just marketing. And, uh, you know, I know that there's been calls for holy black to limit how much people buy and... Just get there early. That's all you can do. But I can't say of all the scents that I've got, I think the only one that I don't have is Coconut Creeper. And I didn't get that because it just doesn't, uh, coconut and menthol just doesn't sound good to me. Um, but all the other ones I do have, and uh, they're all wonderful. And since we're kind of going oriental, we'll do the cucumber mint from Quinn's. We'll let that dry down while we clean everything up and go over everything again. Again, those of you that are looking for a new brush, when Mr. Sorrentino gets back up and running again for brushes, Please, before you consider any other brush um, that uh, you consider Eric, uh, his prices are great, and uh, he just builds a tremendous brush, period. Okay, once again, uh, for what we use for our tools today, we used a Feather DX Camisori uh, with a Feather Pro Guard blade on it. For our brush today, we use the Sorrentino Pillars of Creation, and I'll kind of turn that around so you can see just the and you, and the camera does not give it depth. And this has got a synthetic. I think this is a tuxedo knot. I can't remember, but I, um, whatever brushes he sources. Uh, the soap today was the. Holy Black Bamboo in this lovely bamboo steamer. Uh, Quinn's, of course. And uh, for the aftershave, and that's all we're going to do today, is the Holy Black Bamboo. Now, one thing I have noticed is this is probably EDT strength, but the only knock that I would give it is it did not come with a reducer. And so... I had to abscond a reducer from a Jarus bottle or a, yeah, from a Jarus bottle, you know, which happens to fit perfectly, uh, which is kind of nice. But even that reducer is a little heavy. But the only thing is, is this wrapper is rice paper. And rice paper does not act really well with water, especially when the ink of the um, Holy Black uh, is the traditional printing. And so you can't see how faded this is now and that only happened after a few times because this is rice paper but other than that um that's that's about the only knock there is uh, we're going to be using uh, clubman talc today which actually goes extremely well with this we'll probably use the aftershave again as an edt um, just to get that lovely smell and everything else. Okay, folks, that's it for our Sunday shave today. Uh, I wish everybody a happy Martin Luther King Day tomorrow. If you do have the day off, if you don't have the day off, sorry about that. Uh, this is Barbara Dave, and this has been Barbara Dave's Barber Shop at Home. Again, come and see us at the Shaving Cadre. We'd certainly appreciate it. And I really, really appreciate all your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, especially on that... Uh, 
uh, post that I made uh, last week regarding um, an individual. I appreciate all the support. Uh, so I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll probably see you again tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.